Christine Gregoria here. You're sitting with me at my table, my round table. Um, so again, here we are meeting daily leading up to the big launch of my new five-week online course, Back to Baseline, for yoga teachers and healers of the global community. We'll be beginning January 7th, going through mid-February, meeting weekly and then having additional support throughout the week. The sessions will be recorded, so you're going to have unlimited access to them. Um, and really, to share with you today something that came up with uh, in conversation with a friend was the topic of addiction. And while there are certain people who I think addiction really touches their lives in uh, a much more um, impactful way or um, risky way, perhaps you can say, Really, when we get to the essence of what this uh, is, this, this problem, um, we can look at how we're trying to fill holes, you know, and so really all of us in our own ways are trying to fill holes, um, and the more we run and do and fill our lives with busyness, and, and speaking from a place of being a teacher and being part of the community that helps others and supports them in their path of self-development and self-growth, it can give a great feeling of fullness, you know, like we need the other to feel some kind of meanness, some kind of accomplishment, um, some kind of purpose. And then you can go back home after your day of teaching or working and so forth and um, maybe feel that lack, feel that emptiness, because the truth is we really shouldn't be looking to others to fill ourselves. So, um, and that relationship, which we'll be going more into in the program, of course, how do we use our gifts and our passions to support others in their healing and uh, actualizing their potential without creating some kind of codependent exchange. A whole other deep topic we'll get into for sure and back to baseline. But um, so what came up for me was really addiction is this effort to fill a hole or many holes that either we come to this world with, we're born with, whether they come from past lives, who knows? It's not even my business to try to get into that and understand. Um, but the more we fill ourselves with busyness and movement and keeping ourselves outside of the innerness, um, the hole's going to be there. And when we move into stillness, whether we're physically moving into meditation, into seated meditation and stillness, or whether we're moving inside ourselves, even while we're out and about doing our, our lives, our day-to-day -day lives, um, <clears throat> when we fill ourselves with our presence, our consciousness, and our compassionate companionship, then our holes are full and they're no longer holes. And also, when we go back home, or when we are by ourselves, and we're no longer in this exchange with another supporting them along their development, the hole will never, never be um, emptied again, right? Because your presence and yourself and your companionship and commitment to yourself it's something no one can take from you. It's something you can never lose in any moment. Um, so it's something that came to me and, and something I'm thinking of, okay, when I have a moment of feeling a lack, it can first be my practice to think, just to notice, oh, I feel a lack. I feel like crap. Or, and maybe notice my urge. What is my urge? Is it to go shop? Is it to go teach and, and feel like I'm really living a meaningful life? Is it to go help another? Is it to go make problems? What is my urge just to notice that? And can I take a moment and just create some space between that feeling of emptiness and lack and that urgency and reactivity to fill it up with something that comes from the outside, something that's always dependent on someone or other outside circumstances. So that's that's the thought for the day. That's a practice we can take with us. And it's, again, it's a practice that we just start. So just first noticing I feel whatever your term is, down, empty, alone, I feel it. Oh, wow. And I notice my instinct right now is to go for X, Y, Z. Okay, I notice it. Can I take a few breaths? Can I wait a moment? Can I put my hands just on my body to reconnect with myself and my being before I go do that thing? Maybe I'll still go do it, but I'll do it with a little bit more awareness or maybe a little bit less desperation and expectation that something from the outside is going to come and fill me. Again, when we fill ourselves with our presence, the holes are full, right? So if you connect with this, share, like, um, questions, be in touch with me. I love to communicate. Um, the yoga homeschool at gmail.com is my email. If you want to get a free phone consultation to find out how my new five-week course, Back to Baseline, 
is going to help build self-care and self-nurturance, simple, easy self-care into the blueprint of your 2019 for you yoga teachers and healers in the world. Um, send me a message. We'll get that free phone consultation going. I have special offer through the end of this month, which is just a few days away. You get a big savings on the program. Be in touch. Have a wonderful day, everyone.